Hi, this is Rhonda Cuning again with another art journal page. I'm not actually using this book this time, I'm using another book, but I'm starting out with two blank pages and a bit of turquoise, thallo turquoise, and mixing that up with a bit of gesso just to cover up that text. And I'm using every bit that I mix up so it's nice and thick and squish the page together and pull it apart. It gives a nice texture and I didn't want the fully mixed sort of look. So now that's dry and I'm mixing up some diluted paint. I'm mixing it with some gloss medium and varnish. It makes a nice dripping consistency without diluting it so much that it loses its colour. And this is the definition of hope that I'm colouring now and this is Hebrews 6.19 which says this hope is like a firm and steady anchor for our souls in fact hope reaches behind the curtain and into the most holy place and I just want to do a page on hope and just splattering that with I glued those down with um, some PVA and I've got some impasto medium there and some dioxazine purple and a nice uh, damask stencil. It looked a bit dark so I added some white to it and I'm not using the whole stencil. I started out with a um, disposable knife but it was leaving grooves in the uh, impasto medium so I I moved to a, a palette knife but the only clean one I could reach was a small one but it's alright it works and it's not overly neat I didn't want it to be neat but I probably couldn't do neat if I tried real hard and I'm um, this is some distress ink in uh, broken china and I just want it to smudge all over the um, impesto the stenciling I've done is is well and truly dry so that I don't have to worry about it um, smudging and uh, just for your information I ended up with turquoise fingers for a good day after this so I wouldn't recommend doing this <laughs> with your hands I'd put some gloves on or something <laughs> yeah but hey and I'm just splattering that with some water I love the effect that the distress sinks do when you splatter them with water and that is some archival ink pad that I'm making a frame with here's where it goes a bit pear shaped sprayed on splattered on some black paint and I smudged it all and yeah so then I spray it with some water and try and get rid of most of it and leave sort of a a, a shadow around the outside edges and I decided instead of trying to go around the big letters of the big of the words that I'm using, I would do a background of black on the letters. It made it so much easier this time. I'll probably do this again. And now I'm making some more diluted paint. It's basically paint diluted with some gloss medium and varnish. It makes the paint thinner, but but um, it doesn't take away the opacity of the paint because it's basically diluting it with a medium that the paint is made from anyway. I didn't show you all the shaking I had to do to get it to um, thin down. And it makes it wonderfully easy to write with. Much neater than my brushwork. and it makes it nice and, and raised as well it looks it looks a bit like icing and now I'm writing in the other words with a white gel pen because I haven't waited for the white paint to dry so hey, it made it easy, interesting not easy but interesting and I'm just going around the writing with a pit pen because the white sort of disappears onto that turquoise background because it's a bit light and I think I'm finished.
but then I decide that treasure really needs to be in another colour. I was actually going to, thinking of doing it in silver paint, but then I saw my purple gel pen and I thought, beauty, that's nice and easy. So I did it with that. Signed it and dated it, and there it is, all done. And that is Hebrews 6, 19. And I don't think I stole this quote, hope is the treasure of my soul, but that's how I feel at the moment. Hope is the treasure of my soul. So I hope you like this. Have a go yourself. It's really not that hard.